Hi there, I'm Rex King. Welcome back to another episode where I review films currently in theaters, and today we're talking about The Watchers. So The Watchers was directed by Ashana Shyamalan. I apologize if I mispronounced that name. She's the daughter of M. Night Shyamalan, and this is her directorial debut. The Watchers follows a uh, woman played by Dakota Fanning who finds herself in these strange woods that isn't on any map anywhere, because her car has broken down, and she ends up basically finding these other three people who are also in this forest, but they reveal to her that they are all stuck there, being watched by these strange creatures every night inside this weird house with a two-way mirror. Um, and pretty much it's about them trying to find ways to get out, well... Also questioning what exactly these creatures are. So, I like the setup of this film. I really like the simple idea of these four strangers just stuck in this one location, trying to find a way to get out, with unknown creatures basically driving them to the brink of insanity. I thought that was a brilliant idea, and there's a lot you can do with that simple subject matter. And I really... Do you think they stuck the setup? I really like they uh, managed to, I think, capture what I wanted to see in the first few minutes of the film. I, I, I really think uh, I, they managed to play with your imagination and your head. You don't get to really see the creatures a whole lot. They, You don't even really know exactly what they are for most of the movie. You don't even know if they're really there or if it's just your imagination playing tricks at you all the time. I, I really like that. However, at a certain point in the movie, it starts just going out of control and, and starts just like speeding by as quickly as possible to like torpedo itself toward the end. And as a result, the film starts to lose a lot of its tension. It starts to lose a lot of that um intense feeling that it had and it starts starts to become kind of lame and kind of boring especially when they start to explain things and the explanation is less than satisfactory i really was disappointed with the second half of this movie especially the end without spoiling anything the ending here is really cheesy and really dumb i really didn't care for this second half of this film i really felt like it was a different story altogether now this movie is based off a book so maybe the book is like that i don't know i've never read the book the characters though are also kind of where my problems lie in this film we have two really interesting characters dakota fanning's character who's kind of like a skeptic and is new to this entire area and then you have the oldest lady who's been in this area for the longest time. She's played by Olin uh, Foray. I apologize again if I mispronounce that name. And she has all the exposition she knows the most out of everyone. And I, I kind of like her character as well because she has a lot of intrigue around her. But the other two characters that we're stuck with for most of this film don't get a lot and aren't really that interesting in my opinion and it would be one thing if they were just here to die but they're with us for most of the movie so yeah we kind of have to care about them on some level and i just couldn't care less about these two and then that's not to say their performances are bad. The performances of the actors who are cast in those other two roles are perfectly fine. Uh, Dakota Fanning is obviously the standout here. She does an amazing job of what she's given. Uh, and I really do think the performances are good overall. I just don't think they were given a lot to work with. The visuals, I really like the like camera angles here, how they like to play with your imagination, how you don't get to see the creatures a lot. Wait, little you get to see the creatures are like vague so you can still like imagine what these creatures look like i really like that and i like that kind of keeps that feel for most of the film and the music is really stellar too again my only issues with this movie is that the second half just feels so rushed and out of place and it just 
doesn't work. If this film had just stuck the landing, it would have been mind-blowing. But as is, it's okay. I mean, again, I like the setup and I love the concept. It's just a shame that they didn't really stick that landing all that well. At the end of the day, I'm going to give The Watchers a 6 out of 10. I do recommend checking this one out, but maybe wait till it hits a streaming service that you already own. This isn't a film I would go out of my way to see. Anyway, that's my opinion on The Watchers. What did you think about it? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe.